In the enormous cosmos that Isaac Asimov envisioned in his trilogy of novels, we have met a variety of diverse races of people throughout the course of the first two seasons of the epic science fiction television series Foundation. In the seventh episode, A Necessary Death, we first encounter the Spacers, who Hari had sent Hober Mallow, the Foundation Universe's Han Solo, to go and gather for the second Foundation, the uprising against Brother Day, Lee Pace, and the Empire. This is not the first time we have seen the Spacers, but it is the first time that their backstory and culture are explored in any kind of meaningful way, as Hober explains the situation to the leader of the Spacers' hive mind named She is Center, and makes her an offer to that he hopes will be sufficient to win her and the hive onto the side of the revolutionaries from the outer reaches of the galaxy. What do the Spacers do? We meet the Spacers for the first time in the very first episode of season one, as Gail Dornick, Lou Lobel, is boarding a jump ship to leave her home world of Synax, to make her way to the Eye of the Empire, Tranter, where she will study alongside Dr. Hari Selden, after solving the previously thought to be unsolvable Abrox's conjecture. When Gail is aboard the jump ship, she is tended to by the Spacers, who make sure that she is prepared and secured into her pod, before the jump ship heads for Tranter and that is the Spacer's primary role within Asimov's world in Foundation. They are the pilots, operators, and foremost navigators of the galaxy's handful of jump ships that have the ability to fold both time and space and move from one end of the galaxy to the other much more quickly than regular ships. What are the Spacers exactly? The Spacers are a race of genetically modified humanoids that were intended to be the ideal or perfect form of life. Engineers have tinkered and played with them since their creation about the year 11,650 i.e., Imperial Era, making them more and more perfect, in both a physical and emotional sense. You've probably noticed that every spacer we've met on the show thus far, including She is Center and her daughter She Bends Light, Judith Shikoni, is what would be considered a physically attractive being with perfectly symmetrical features that are both pleasing to the eye. They also have the ideal measured temperament, which can come across as unusually reserved or passive, but it is more of them constantly analyzing every situation around them. So when Hober tries to make them an offer, he is dealing with the most rational people. Hober Mallow makes the Spacers an offer since their inception, the Spacers have had a deal in place with the Empire that ensures their station as the operators of the jump ships. In exchange for 10% of their superior genetically enhanced offspring every year for navigation, the Empire gives them the micronutrient that they need to survive due to the many modifications that Empire's engineers have made on them over the years called Opelisk. So when Hober approaches them with an offer, he has to make it sweet enough to pry them away from the clutches of their arrangement with Empire. To ensure their safety, Hober offers a supply of Opelisk in exchange for their help allowing them to avoid tithing one in ten of their progeny to the Empire. He says the Foundation produces it and has the capacity to produce more of it. He asserts that the technology is no longer completely in the control of Empire and that he arrived in a jump ship without the help of the Spacers. He warns she is center, the home swarm, that as soon as the Spacers are rendered unnecessary and are no longer required for navigation, Empire and the brothers Dawn, Day, and Dusk who, will withhold the opalisk will subject them to their sadistic whims. Hober offers them opalisk and their freedom for their service alongside the rebel alliance that is forming. She is center considers Hober's offer, the spacers share a hive mind, and after she is center refuses Hober's offer, citing that if the empire finds out they have been talking about a betrayal, that empire will just demand 20% of their offspring. She then telepathically communicates with She Bends Light, who is navigating General Bell Rius's ship. Bell Rius is in service of the Empire and is combing the galaxy looking for Hober and all the Foundation's leadership, so it can be thwarted. She Bends Light informs General Bell Rius that she is bringing the swarm to them via their mother jump ship. She is center shows there, and when she does, she tells Bell Rius that Hober tried to bargain their treachery, but she refused and that she came in person to hand Hober Mallow up and meet her daughter, she bends light. Hober narrowly escapes with his life after a battle with Bel Rius, but he manages to board his jump ship and flee the area. 
Anyone who joins forces with the Spacers will undoubtedly have a significant advantage over their adversaries, since they will be able to travel quickly to every part of the galaxy under the guidance of the most experienced race of travelers.